This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at BioGPT, which is a generative pre-trained transformer for biomedical text generation and mining. This paper is from Microsoft Research okay, and Peking University. Uh, the authors are from Microsoft Research and Peking University. Uh, they have also released the model checkpoints. This model is also present in Hugging Face. Okay. So what is BioGPT? It is a generative pre-trained transformer and it is for biomedical text generation and mining. So what we'll do is that we'll see a quick demo and we'll come back to the paper. Okay. So I am uh, using this collab notebook for this demo. So I need to install transformers and I need to install this particular uh, sacrimosis because otherwise the tokenizer was not working. Okay. Then what I do is that uh, I have to in, uh, import pipeline and set seed from transformers. And then from transformers, I import BioGPT tokenizer and BioGPT for causal LM. Okay. So once I download these uh, things, I can instantiate the model, which is BioGPT for causal LM from pre-trained. Um, and uh, this is the this thing, Microsoft BioGPT. So I create the model. Then I also create the tokenizer, okay, BioGPT tokenizer from pre-trained. So the model got downloaded, the tokenizer also has been created. And then I can create a pipeline for text generation with this BioGPT model and its tokenizer. Okay, I've done that. And we set a seed for reproducibility of results. Okay, now if you have an input text like this, right, and you want to generate text afterwards, so you can use this generator which has been instantiated with BioGPT model and the tokenizer, right? Let's generate it. Okay, let's see what kind of sentences are getting generated based on this input. So this is the generated text. Okay, I am returning five sequences over here of lens 20 tokens. So see, these are the text which has been generated. COVID-19 is a disease that spreads worldwide and is currently found in a growing proportion of the population. COVID-19 is one of the largest viral epidemics in the world. Okay. So this particular model is capable of generating biomedical text. Okay. Not just that, once it is capable of generating biomedical text, um, this model is also, you can take the uh, embeddings from this model and then you can do various downstream tasks. Okay, for example, I just wanted to see uh, in the paper there was the mention that if you have a prompt of the form, a question, okay, the question text, context, the paragraph from which you want to get an answer, right, and then you have an uh, answer which is the prompt, and then you say the answer to the question given the context is, okay, so let's feed this input text to this model and see what gets generated, okay, so I'm feeding this input text to this model. So over here, it says that, okay, this is the context, right? Answer, the answer to the question given the context is cost savings over a variety of other antimicrobial regimens. If you look at this text, okay, I asked is oral ciprofloxacin useful? Context was treatment with oral ciprofloxacin should offer substantial cost savings over a variety of uh, parenteral antimicrobial regimens. Some text is there. So this is like a zero shot question answering, which I tried over here, right? So then I wanted to try another example of zero shot question answering. So what I did was, uh, there is this BioRail data set, okay, from which I pulled this particular sentence, a brain mass and a spinal cord were identified in the cranial cavity and the vertebral canal. So this is the sentence. Question is what were identified in the cranial cavity, okay? And then I said uh, in the prompt, the answer to the question given the context is, so this is a prompt which I have created based on their paper. We'll, let's go to the paper afterwards. Okay. So here I generate two sequences, basically two possible, uh, you know, generated text from this input text. So here uh, in the first case, it says the answer to the neither the brain nor the spine. So it is not giving any proper answers. Maybe we should try it again. Let's see what answer gets generated. Sometimes I used to get very good answers from this. Let's see. Mm, 
this shouldn't take this much time i'm not sure why it is taking this much time okay so the answer to the question given that the context is that the mass are not the result of the cranial cavity some nonsense is coming over here maybe let me reduce the length of the generated answer but this is zero shot so you may not get the answers properly every time i just wanted to try it mm, not ambiguous answer to the question is cranial cavity is a hollow structure okay some different answers are coming uh maybe i will just try one answer let's see what comes over here because what one time i had got the proper answer for this question i'm not sure why it's not coming now yeah this is being generative text you can have different answers it's always possible see you, in this case it is coming properly over here given the context the answer is a brain mass and a spinal cord so the answer is correct over here so again this is zero shot question answering which i have tried okay so now let's go to the paper and see a little bit of details of what they have done what they are saying is your previous models like biobert and pubmed bert they were also pre trained on biomedical domain okay but they did not achieve great success on a discriminative downstream biomedical task because they did not have generational ability okay whereas in this particular paper they propose bio gpt domain specific generative transformer language model it is pre trained on large scale biomedical literature okay so this is the difference between say bio gpt and the previous biobert and pubmed bert they didn't have generational capability whereas this is having the generation generation capability okay so let's jump into what did they use for pre training uh, you know uh, what did they use for the data set over here so the data set is we collected all the pubmed items that were before updated uh, your 2021 um they filtered out all the empty items with only title but no abstract so they left uh, they used 15 million items title and abstract from pubmed that's what they have used over here they also created a vocabulary for this particular in domain corpus right so they adopted an implementation of fast bpe byte pair encoding and they created a vocabulary which is 42384 so for the model they adopted the gpt2 model architecture right as the backbone it is a transformer decoder they didn't use gpt3 because large model 15 billion parameters okay so the core component of this bio gpt which is based on the gpt2 architecture is your multi head attention so they are explained multi head attention over here okay so i'll not go into that uh, what they say is that the output of multi head attention layer is then fed okay this is the transformer layer basically practically we adopt gpt2 medium as the backbone network it has 24 layers 1024 is the hidden size 16 attention heads resulting in 355 million parameters in the bio gpt they have 347 million parameters because of the different embedding size and output projection size caused by the different vocabulary size okay so this is a 347 million parameters model bio gpt okay it is based on gpt2 medium okay and the training criteria is uh, standard language modeling task so given a set of sequence you try to optimize on the okay given a basically a set of uh, sequence of tokens it is about you know optimizing the, uh, the negative likelihood okay minimize the negative likely uh, log likelihood so basically given s2 given s1 uh, predict s2 right generate s2 given s1 s2 generate s3 like that up to snn and then you sum up all these probabilities of these sequences okay that is what is done uh, log probabilities of this thing and you then take the negative of it okay and you are trying to minimize this so basically this is the language generation task okay and you are trying to minimize the negative log likelihood for this language generation task okay language modeling task okay and then for fine tuning uh, what they are saying is that they have tried to fine tune it on say relation extraction question answering and document classification okay so what they are saying is that uh, for end to end relation extraction uh, basically given a source sequence we need to find all the triplets head entity tail entity and relation okay and n is the number of all possible triplets in the text it could be like uh, 
ड्रग 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 टारगेट इंट्रैक्शन केमिकल डिसीज इन रिलेशन सो यू आर ट्रेंग टू फाइंड आउट दैट एन एग्जाम्पल इज प्रेजेंट ओवर हियर ओके सो दिस इज अ पर्टिकुलर दिस थिंग टेक्स्ट विच एज अ पर्टिक्युलर यू नो मेडिसीन डेक्स्ट्रो प्रोपियॉक्सिन इनिबिट्स न्यू टाइप ओपर्ड रिसेप्टर इफ सम टेक्स्ट इज लाइक दैर then you need to extract the relation between this and uh, mu opioid is inhibitor okay so they use a triplet of drug target interaction as an example over here and once you get the natural sentence like this outside from your language my gpt uh, bio gpt you can use regular expressions this is the question answering which i tried okay but here it was slightly different here what they wanted to do is you have a question text okay you have prepend a question uh, in the prompt you have the context text you prepend context you have answer text also you prepend answer prepend the answer basically but what they wanted as output was the answer to the question given the context is yes or no whether it is you know whether this answer is appropriate for this question for this context what i tried was a different version where i just said question i just gave uh, this question in the prompt in the demo basically over here and uh, the context text question followed by the question text context text answer and i said the answer to the question given the context is this okay i have not given an answer text over here i just wanted to try it zero shot and it seems to be okay for one or two cases but you need to do on a larger data set okay in this way they created prompts for the question answering for document classification what they did was given a document text the goal is to classify the type of the document so the target sequence using the format type of the document is labeled so that was the target sequence so basically they had this kind of a framework for fine tuning downstream tasks you have the source data text basically then a prompt then a target so the prompt could be like we can conclude that and target could be the interaction between a and b is r that is the relation okay for this particular target okay and this is during training right this is during inference given some text we can conclude that and then it is able to get the relation or something like that okay so these were the different tasks and they tried it on different data sets and they say that uh, you know this improves over existing state of art okay i'll not go into the numbers over here but that's the whole point of uh, you know they are saying that this is uh, improved on pubmed uh, you know huge uh, improvement on pubmed uh, that's what a pubmed uh, question answering right and uh, this was in pubmed question answering this was for relation extraction and uh, this was for text generation over your normal you know gpt2 or something like that so this is the idea behind bio gpt okay and bio gpt is already present in hugging face transformers so you can make use of the model right so you can also extract embeddings from the text that is what is shown over here you can get the embeddings from the text and then you can use the embeddings for downstream tasks like say name identity recognition or text classification and so on okay so there are so many uh, spaces built up on this uh, this thing you can try out these spaces as well they also have it on um, their github where uh, they have the script what you call they have examples and scripts for you to reproduce this experiment um, in the paper you can try that as well so this was a short video on bio gpt if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel i'll be putting the link to the paper uh, the github of bio gpt as well as the hugging face documentation of bio gpt in the description of the video do check out see you in another video